probable and it's hell. But we have a chance to start over in the rubble. But first there has to be rubble. Hey guys, what's up? This is Burn here. And I'm taking a look at Psychosis's first album, Ghost of a Killer. I'm going to review it right here, right now. First track you're going to hear when you put the CD in is called Lost My Heart in Memphis. This is one of the original tracks that they released. Um, it's one of the tracks that introduced me to the bands uh, as soon as I basically looked them up on YouTube and I found them <laughs> so essentially when you put the CD in this is gonna the song is gonna turn on and it's going to freak the shit out of you first off because it opens up with this freaky scream and it's also gonna kind of draw you in because it's got this really nice melody and rhythm especially the guitar and the uh, drum part and the the vocals as well, um, they kind of switch between death metal-y and rockish vocals. It's a very interesting song, to say the least. Um, it's got this kind of strange tune to it. Uh, it's really hard to describe. But essentially, what I think that the song is about, I can't speak for the band or the person that wrote this, the lyrics for this song, but basically read the title and you'll figure out what the song is about okay the second track you're gonna hear after you listen to lost my heart in memphis is a track called deception this is one of my favorite tracks that they've done when it starts off you're gonna hear uh an Indian tribal dance I think it's meant to be uh, because the song is essentially about how we took the land from the Indians when we moved here the Native Americans and it's an extremely heavy track and it's personally one that I really enjoy um, doing covers of because Teddy's vocals are to say the least insane uh, the drumming Drumming is some of my favorite drumming that I've ever heard, ever. And that says a lot because I'm a drum guy. I really like good drumming in my music. Good, heavy, fast, double bass pedal drumming. And Tommy can really shred the drum kit on this, especially. Track number three is a track called Shallow Graves, and this is another one of my favorites. The whole album is basically great, but this is a standout track to me because it's got this solo in it, and it's an awesome solo. Like, everything about it is perfect. The bass, the guitar, the drums, especially the drums and the guitar. It just blew me away. It's crazy. You guys have to hear it. I'll play for I'll play it for you here at the end. But Tommy did another great job on the drums. And Justin and John did a phenomenal job on the guitars. It's absolutely amazing. Um, vocally, it's good too. But really, what stands out here are the instrumentals. Like I said, especially the drums and the guitar. You guys have to hear this track. Go look it up on YouTube or something. But I'll play you the solo that I'm talking about right now. fourth song on the album is a song called Deja Vu, and this is a song that I think has the most relatable lyrics out of pretty much the whole album. The drums are absolutely amazing. 
Not much else to say. Listen to it. Song number five is called Self-Inflicted. This song has amazing drumming. Probably some of my favorite out of, again, everything that I've heard. Because what makes this song special and the drumming in it is the pace that it kind of creates. It kind of creates a fast pace, almost like you're running or something. I don't know. It's hard to describe. So just take my word for it. Go listen to this song. The vocals are absolutely amazing. Teddy's really good at switching in between death metal and clean vocals, which is really hard to find, especially somebody who has really good clean vocals like he does. And then being able to switch between the two in a song, that's got to be hard to do. Track 6 goes by the name Paralyzed Sky, and it's the softer track on the album. It is the track that really kind of got me into psychosis and involved with them. Personally, I think it's a masterpiece. It's my favorite by them. It has really good guitar, as well as vocals and drums all around. It's a good track. It's a well put together track. This is probably the one track that stands out the most to me and hopefully whoever else is listening to it because it's a great track never know what you meant to me and never see the pain and never see this side of me i hope you found someone better i hope i hope you Track number seven is a song called Running Away, and again, this has amazing drums. I can't stress enough how good the drums are on this album. I feel like this song would be a drummer's dream and nightmare at the same time because it's really fast-paced, but it sounds really, really cool. I'm not going to lie, this is the song that I show my friends, show off the drumming that Psychosis does. And yes, I show off the drumming that Psychosis does to my friends because it's absolutely amazing. The best drumming that I have heard in a long time. The guitar as well is also really cool in this track because it follows that pace that the drums create and the vocals as well, they also keep up with that pace, which is really, really hard to find in a song. To say the least, track number eight, The Trenches, is the track that's going to hit you as hard as it possibly can. And you won't know what hits you because the beginning is nice and soft and somewhat subtly creepy. And then the drums and the guitar and everything comes in and it just hits you in the face and you don't know what is going on. And then when you finally come to, you have one of the coolest songs you've ever heard. This is, again, one of my favorite tracks on this album. This is one that you just need to hear. Go listen to it on YouTube, go buy it on iTunes, buy the album from the guys, do something, because this is an all-around perfect track. You heard me, perfect. Drag Me to the Bottom is the final track on Ghost of a Killer, and it has probably one of the most interesting beginnings for a death metal album that I've heard in a while. Um, it's very subtle and calm, but then it kind of 
blows up in your face. And when it blows up in your face, it really, really impresses you, especially the guitar and the drums at the beginning. Because the guitar is so heavy, it's nuts, and the drums can follow and keep up. It's crazy. Okay, so you guys got to hear a little bit of the album and my thoughts on certain songs of the album. And this is going to be my verdict. This is my final thoughts on the album and basically my rating that I would give this album compared to everything else I've heard. This is an album that I really enjoy, not only because the guys are really cool, but also because they're great musicians. This is definitely an album that you need to pick up. There are very limited physical copies of this album left, but you can buy it on iTunes and you can support the guys. So I'm gonna give this album a four out of five for the skills needed to play the drums because I really love the drums on this album. Tommy's probably my favorite drummer out of everybody. The guitar on this album is crazy as well as the vocals. The vocals really stand out to me because I haven't heard a guy do what Teddy does in a long time, especially with the music I listen to. So go pick the album up. These guys have a great image. You don't want to miss them live. They're awesome live. They're nuts. Go see them live. Pick up the album. Four out of five. Almost perfect album.